Okay, we have your monitor panel here, uh, which we had mentioned before outside regarding the tanks, um, switches for your water pump, um, along with your water heater. Um, so all that is going to be located right here. Um, so we'll just go step by step. First one's going to be your battery level. It's reading full. Um, we're plugged in and charging that. Just keep in mind it's always going to read full um, when you're charging it uh, and when you're plugged in. So that's for your battery. So simply by pressing that fresh water, um, that's how you know your level of your fresh water tank were empty. And then both your black tank, which again, that's your sewer for your toilet. And then your gray tank, which is just your wastewater for your faucets and sinks. Um, so that's level uh, how you know how full your tanks are. Um, for your switches, again, your switch for your water pumps located right here. That's, again, that's what we went over. It's going to run. So it's pressurized uh, all your faucets and lines. Um, and then you'll hear it kick off. Um, the switches for your water heater, again, if you want to run it on gas, it's going to be this switch right here. Um, and you'll hear it kick on and run. This light will pop on until uh, it has actually ignited. So once it's ignited, the, the light will switch off. So if you notice for whatever reason that you went to turn on your gas water heater and the light was still on, um, you might have to look into something. Um, again, just the one switch for gas. And like I mentioned, for electric, you do have the two switches. So you have the one switch outside on the actual water heater itself, and then the second switch uh, right there to run off electric.